In Chapter 6 of FE7, we enter Arifrit, one of Lycia's biggest cities. Kent has secured aid from the local lord, but suddenly Lundgren's soldiers set a fire in the castle and attempt to kill Lin. Wrath, the captain of the castle guard, kills a brigand and then joins us. Matthew the Thief also shows up and offers his services, and I take his iron sword. This map has a unique objective, where you must press three switches to open a secret passageway. The tactics rank will be an easy one star since we can take our time. As for survival, I will have to let it be five star this time because of other circumstances. As for combat rank, there are seven enemies, but interestingly, the enemy that Wrath kills in the intro of the map in fact does count towards his wins in the stats screen and also grants him around 13 XP, so we'll have to account for that. I'll need 56 battles to offset this, which I get using Wrath. I use Sarah's heal staff to heal him several times to get to the required threshold. For experience, the 1 star limit is very low at 190 XP. I get all of the kills of Lin, which is 0, while Wrath gains 72 XP from his mandatory win and the additional battles he participates in. And lastly, Sarah gains 55 XP from healing Wrath 5 times, for a total of 127 XP, which is satisfactory. Things get pretty convoluted for the funds rank, because at the end of the chapter, you are forcibly given 5,000 gold against your will, and the funds rank for the chapter is checked immediately after this without any possible player intervention. The total funds for this map are 18,030, so we must profit less than 3,606 gold on this map, which is basically impossible. Theoretically, if we had more than 1,394 gold worth of assets, then tossed them away during the map, we would have profited less than the one star threshold, but I simply didn't have enough to do this. Since I didn't plan this far ahead and I don't want to replay all the previous chapters, I suppose it is something to leave to future optimization. In either case, this 5000 gold is guaranteed to push us up to at least 2 star funds, which fortunately is not enough to gain a tactician point, so it doesn't really matter that much. Also on this map is the Seraphrobe, which I use on Lin to bring her up to 37 HP to make her even more moderately formidable. In high ranked runs, you are typically forced to keep stack boosters to preserve your high funds rank. But one advantage of the low ranked runs is that it can freely expend all resources the game gives you, even if you need to wastefully discard most of it. I defeat the boss with Lin and activate the last switch to end the map with a 1 star tactics, 5 star survival, 2 star funds, 1 star XP, and 1 star combat for a total of 170 points, which fortunately is still an overall D rank, and 1 tactician point for a total of 10 out of a total possible 35. After rescuing Marcus Arafin, he rescinds his offer of help because he is racist, and Wrath leaves his services because of the same reason. Wrath joins Lin and without her consent, gives us the poisonous 5000 gold that ruins our 1 star funds rank.